Barracana is a retro-style 2D side-scrolling platformer role-playing game. Except this doesn't really look like a game. It just looks like a still image with a little bit of debug-related info. That's because, well, let me explain the scene. This white rectangle is what the hero is, for the moment. It's just a temporary placeholder. This kind of dark lavender kind of color is supposed to be where the background is. This green is supposed to represent the ground, and this grayish color represents where the HP indicator is, the MP indicator, the air bar and the HP and MP marks along with the status effect icons that are about to expire, and of course the minimap over here, but exclusive to developer versions, there is also the debug panel showing your position, which has got hexadecimal of course, and you got your speed, you got your screen position, so, all I have right now is I can just simply move left and right, like this, just constant acceleration, very basic. I can also move up and down, like this. And of course, I can also get extremely fast. It doesn't look like it, but note the, uh, okay, what just happened? That's because I've added in, just like the retro games, a scrolling speed limit. For Barracana, it's actually 32 pixels per frame, at 60 frames per second. Notice, um, as I'm frame advancing here, notice how the screen position seems to be advancing by 32. Yep, that's the scroll speed limit. Of course, you can choose to disable that and just go with whatever speed you want. It's just a way to kind of emulate the retros. Yep, and that's the size, the, the bounds of the level. Somewhere around here, yep. That's about uh, the very edge of the level right here. Basically about that. But right now, that's all I've got. Next up, I'll be adding in the background. Let's see how that comes out. Think retro style. You remember the Harina Plains background, right? Except that it was static from my collage of the backgrounds for the game. This time, now you're seeing the Horana Plains background in motion, at least from the upper area. This is the cloud deck, just basic, standard, simple, wavy clouds. These kinds of clouds are meant to be more like a fluffy kind. And of course, you got like a standard sky background, nothing really special there. If you scroll down a lot, you'll get the castle right in here. And of course, that's the Barracana logo, just minus King Barracan and Queen Anna on it. Here's a drawbridge, little flags that are up above. And of course, you got uh, hay bales here, you got mountains, a lot of rolling hills to go with the plains theme. You got a fence, another fence. And then you start getting into a river with some islands on it. And then from there, you got uh, the other side of the shore of the river and some hills that are very close. Now, of course, if I scroll horizontal, you'll start seeing how the parallax all works out. This over here is a cow. It's like a dairy cow, just your classic black and white one. This is a horse, watering feed kind of thing. And you got a barn here. And then, of course, you might notice the mountains are moving extremely slowly. They barely even move at all. But that's because of, well, mountains are actually supposed to be very distant. And from a much higher vantage point, a little higher up anyway, watch the stuff zipping by at record speed. <laughs> and then, of course, you can also outrace the cloud deck up here, too. Watching all this zipping by. And then, of course, if you go back this way, you can start racing it where it goes about the same speed. So that's basically the overview of the entire background. Just watching my position here. And in case you're wondering, for a sense of kind of how the level layout's going to be, right over here on the exit over on this side, that will be where Castle Barracana is, the town itself. Far over here, you will encounter uh, Helena Forest, except there's two entrances to Helena Forest. 
The lower one takes you to the lower part of it, but then there's an upper one, probably somewhere like right around here, give or take. I don't exactly know for sure. I'd have to check my level layout plans. And then way up over here, somewhere around about in here is where your entrance to Mount Selyse is. Of course, there's bound to be a couple of other things. Yeah, I know one other thing that there is. About where the so-called rat's nest, as I call it, because there's a whole bunch of rats and bats in there. There's about a kind of a, like a cave somewhere around here. There's also an entrance to Terran Crypt as well. But anyway, that pretty much covers all the background. This video was created by Alilia. Thank you for watching.